girl i am still like half deaf in the side of my ear i don't even know what the hell happened but mm. hello my loves and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be doing another video using my baby this is my palette from ofra cosmetics that i have collaborated if you guys don't know this is what she looks like i did do a whole reveal video here on youtube i'm going to link that up here if you want to check that out you totally can i really go in depth about the shadows about everything that i did and the kind of meaning behind behind um, the palette if that makes any sense. So I am not going to keep rambling. Let's just jump right into the video. All right, my love, so I already have my base on. I'm going to be listing everything down below in the description box. I didn't do my base on camera here because I literally go into the same things, but everything will be listed down below in the description box and in order of how I used it. So we are first gonna be going into bronzer. And of course, as you guys should know, I do have three bronzer shades in my palette. We have Versatile Matte, Raisin, and as well as brown so I love to mix you have three shades mix them customize them to whatever your preference is so I'm going to be mixing a little bit of versatile matte and a touch of raisin and if anyone is wondering this is a brush um, from wet n wild so I'm just going to be popping my bronzer right in the hollows of my cheeks I mean you guys already see that looks really really intense I went in with a really, really heavy hand because I love bronzers. I love the formula of these. So if you're not into an intense sculpt like I am, go in with a light hand and you'll be okay. But quite frankly, you already see what a difference that makes. It really gives you this beautiful sculpt. So this has no bronzer and this has my bronzer on. Really, really, really pretty. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a trick that I love to do. I'm switching brushes here. This is the Sigma Soft Blend 50 brush. I'm taking this and I'm picking up a little bit of the shade brown and I'm going to be using this as a super deep contour shade. I'm going in with a very, very light hand and tap off the excess on your brush because it can get crazy real quick. And I'm just going to really lightly focus this just in that hollow to kind of really sculpt everything. And then the very last thing I love to do when it comes to bronzer is I'm picking up a little bit of Versatile Matte and I'm popping this in my Cupid's bow. And under my lip, that makes your lip, it brings a bit of a shadow to your lip area. So it actually makes your lips look a little bit more plumper and a little bit more fuller. So just a little bit of a tip. And then also taking a little bit more and accentuating my nose contour with the same versatile matte. Okay, moving on to blush. I'm going to be mixing both of the blushes that I put in here. So we have Charmer as well as Pink Satin. Love mixing them together. They work beautiful on their own, but mixed together, they're absolutely stunning. So I'm just gonna pop them right on my cheeks. I also love, this is a new thing that I've been doing, is putting a little bit of blush all the way up to my temples. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it just gives me a nice little lift to my face. I don't know, maybe it could just be in my head. <laughs> Now for my favorite part, which is hands down highlighter, and I'm going to be picking up Rodeo Drive in all of the lights, which is the gold shade, if you may not know, and I am popping this on my cheeks. So stunning, oh my goodness. And I went in really, really light <laughs> with my brush, so imagine if you really, really digged into this, which you really don't have to, um, you are going to get it even more intense and even more pigmented than it already is. Before I move on to eyes, the last thing that I love to do is actually take a little bit of Sahara Dawn and I love to use this as a body highlight. So I'm going to be popping this on my decollete. Guys, y'all see that? Oh my goodness, so pretty. It literally gives you that like sun kiss, just came from the Caribbean, just came from vacation, just type of beautiful glow. It's just, oh. She is so stunning. I love her. All right, final, final, final step is to go in and set everything. And I'm going to be using my Makeup Fixer from Ofra Cosmetics. This is hands down one of my favorite, favorite setting sprays. And of course, you can use my 20% off code to get 20% off site-wide from Ofra, including my palette. So I'm just going to pop this everywhere, including my chest area. 
All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys in and let's move straight on to eyes. Whew. All right, we are nice and zoomed in. So honestly, I didn't know what I wanted to do today, but this is what we came up with. I did know though that I wanted to stay away from the pops of colors in my palette just because if you are someone who is watching this and you're like, I'm a little intimidated with these colors, I will probably kind of ease my way into them. This is a beautiful look for you. So I wanna give everyone options and possibilities of what this palette can do. Listen, before I get into anything, you guys know I have to go into a base and I'm gonna be going into my P. Louise base. We're keeping it real simple. I'm literally just popping a dollop of this on my lid here and then taking a little brush and I am going to be patting this all over my lid and the and my upper crease area essentially. Oh my God, my lip looks crazy. Was nobody gonna tell me? Then my lips look super duper crusty. I thought we were friends. We are first gonna be going into the shade Raisin over here and I'm using this as my transition shade. So I am placing my shadows in my crease and upper crease area because I wanna make sure when I open my eyes you can still see all of the work and all the shadows that I did place. Also kind of notes, I am winging out all of my shadows way past the tails of my brows. Picking up a little bit more of Raisin and I'm going to be creating like a little bit of a wing here. So starting at the edge of my lash line and then connecting it way past my brows as well. Slowly building up the intensity, I'm going to be switching brushes here with a slightly smaller blendy brush and I'm picking up the shade Brow. And I am popping this just a little bit lower than where we put that first shade, just to create a little bit of a depth and a little bit more dimension. You can already see that beautiful new shape that we created with just the shadows, super duper pigmented, and you don't have to work really, really hard to get them nice and blended and smooth. So the last crease shade that we're gonna be going into is my favorite, favorite color, which is actually trance and doing the exact same thing girl where we're just being really really careful about the placement but placing it directly into that crease make sure you wing out all of your shadows and connect it to the lash line as well I'm going to be going into the shade Sahara Dawn. I am popping this on the outer half of that lid area. I'm keeping the inner corners here nice and empty because I'm going to be popping a different shade there. Switching this brush over, we're going to be going into all of the lights and I'm picking up this white gold shade that we have and I'm popping this into the inner corner of my lid that we left empty. Real quick, moving on to our lower lash line, I'm going to be taking this Aqua Resist Color Pencil from Makeup Forever. If you have not tried these, girl, you need these, and they are waterproof. I did test them. So this is in the shade Ivy, which is a beautiful purple with a little bit of shimmer, and I'm going to be popping this in my waterline and dragging it a little bit lower on my skin as well. On a flat definer brush, I'm going into the shade Trance, which is going to complement this purple so, so beautiful, and I'm just going to be packing this on my lower lash line right up against that purple. All right, my love, so eyes are pretty much done. I'm gonna go off camera, pop on some lashes and mascara, and I'm going to be right back. Real quick, because I know you guys are gonna ask what lashes I have on. These are from Good Gal Lashes. These are in the style Dreamy. These are so, so, so inexpensive and so beautiful. Let's move on to lips. I'm, of course, going to be lining my lips with my favorite lip liner, my new favorite lip liner, which is from LA Girl Cosmetics. This is in the shade Chocolate. I love this lip liner because it is the perfect chocolate brown lip color for dark tan color girls that actually shows up and that is so 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 important to me so you guys know the deal with this nothing crazy here I am going to be overlining my lips just a touch nothing crazy for lips, I'm going into the shade Aspen, which is from Ofra Cosmetics, their liquid lipstick. If you guys purchased my palette the first week of launch, you guys would have gotten this lipstick for free. This is hands down one of my favorite, favorite nude colors for tan color girls. So I'm just popping this right on my lips. All right, I had to zoom you guys in even more just so you guys can really see how beautiful everything is all together, real up close and personal because guys, the lip color is absolutely beautiful. It just complements everything. The beautiful pop of color on my lower lash line with that purple, it is going to bring out your eyes so, so, so beautifully. And then again, the transition from that light gold to that bronzy gold in the center of our lid is absolutely stunning. All right, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys love, love, love this look 
looks so much. If you do recreate it, please tag me on Instagram. I will be reposting every single person. If you buy the palette, please tag me. I will still be reposting you. I hope you guys enjoyed and I also will say my palette is of course still available for the time being. It is retailing for $59 but if you use my 20% off code, you can get the palette for $47 and you do get free shipping. Of course, everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box, so do not worry. I also will say, I got a PR package from Sigma, and I think that's going to be my next YouTube video. Let me show y'all. Oh, she is beautiful and very large and in charge. So this is their new Untamed collection. I really want to do like a review first impressions type of video on this. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the incredible, incredible support for all of you guys who purchase the palette, are going to purchase the palette. I love you guys and thank you so much for spending your heart on money on something that I created and you guys love, love so, so much. It means the world. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.